There are many planets outside our solar system. One of them even rains glass and gemstones. And another has oceans of lava. These planets are known as exoplanets, literally meaning external or outside planets. Just like Earth revolves around the Sun, most of these planets revolve around other stars. Each star you see at night could be a sun for a planet that orbits around it. Hold on a second. When I look at the sky, the stars appear to be extremely tiny. This means that the planets orbiting around them would be even tinier. So then how do we find these exoplanets? Well, my personal telescope might not have the best magnification to see such a large image of the stars. But there are telescopes in space that are much more powerful. Tess and Kepler are examples of two such powerful telescopes. These telescopes stare continuously at the stars for weeks, months or even years. But why is that so? Hey, someone please turn off the bright light. I can't see the planets. Did you notice that? When there is too bright a light behind any object, even a planet, its visibility is affected. Exoplanets are hidden by the bright light of their parent stars. Hence, it's very difficult to view them directly through a telescope. Instead, what the telescopes observe is a change in a star's light because of a planet orbiting it. Well, actually, that's what the planets do. When a revolving planet passes between a star and our telescope, it is said to be transiting the star. And when an exoplanet transits the star, it casts a shadow on it. This means that some of the light coming from the star is blocked by the planets revolving around it. Since some of the star's light is blocked when a planet transits it, it shines less bright or becomes dimmer for some time. I know what you're thinking. The planets must be so small and the stars are so big. Well, you're right. The change is minor, but it is enough to tell us about the presence of an exoplanet. This method of finding exoplanets is called the transit method. The telescope test is actually made for the purpose of surveying exoplanets by the transit method. TESS stands for Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite. When observations are done repeatedly over long periods of time, the transit method can reveal interesting information. By observing the amount of change in the brightness of the star, astronomers can analyze how big an exoplanet is causing that change. A bigger exoplanet will block more light and the star would become less bright. While a smaller exoplanet will block less light and hence the star's brightness would not reduce as much. More information can be found by studying the time between the transits. So, if a planet takes a longer time to repeat its motion, it has a larger orbit. Hey! Can you guess what it implies about the distance of the planet from the star? Well, a larger orbit means that the star is far away from the planet, while a smaller orbit means that the star is relatively close by. This information helps estimate the temperature of the planet. The closer the planet is to the star, the greater its temperature. Isn't it so exciting? Just by analyzing the light coming from distant stars, 
and actually the absence of it astronomers can estimate the presence of an exoplanet and not just that they can also estimate the size the temperature and living conditions on an exoplanet without even stepping a foot on it the transit method has already helped astronomers locate over 3400 planets like kepler 16b a planet that orbits two stars kepler 22b a planet suspected to have water on it kepler 10b the lava world or even the beautiful but dangerous exoplanet hd 189733b where it rains glass one day we may also find a planet that has the right temperature for the presence of water an indication of life what do you think do you think that there are other planets out there just like earth let us know in the comments below and for more such interesting content download byju's the learning app